how to create a YouTube channel. That's what I'm gonna run you through step-by-step -step in today's tutorial for beginners. Let's hop on the computer and get started. The first thing I want you to do is go to youtube.com and take a look at the top right-hand corner. What does it say? Does it say sign in? If so, you need to sign in with a Google or Gmail account. If you don't have any email with Google, you can sign up for that for free. I'll put instructions below that'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to create your email. The next thing to do also in the top right-hand corner is click on the little circle that could be a letter or your profile picture. If you click there, you're gonna see down below that, it'll say either create a channel or your channel. If it says your channel, it means you already have a personal YouTube channel. You can use that to create content and do everything else we talk about today. I'm gonna to show you kind of an advanced tip of creating a brand channel, which you can more easily collaborate with others. You don't have to share access to your email address. Each person can access separately. It could be just you with access right now, but to create that, you want to click on settings and then click on add or manage your channels. Once you are there, you can click on create a channel, give it a name, and now you have your brand channel. Once you've created the channel, it's gonna take you to the channel page. It's gonna look somewhat blank like this one does. And now there's a couple of things you could do here. You could obviously upload a video, but we're gonna focus on the channel today. So the main things you're gonna see when you're logged into your channel versus some other channel is you can customize it and manage the videos. Everything you do with your channel, you can also view within YouTube Studio. That's actually how we're gonna go and make all the edits right now. So I'm gonna show you how to get there. So if you click on the circle icon in the top right hand corner, and then click on YouTube Studio. Now let's make sure we get all the settings set properly, then we'll move on to the channel customization and design. So to open up the settings, click on settings in the bottom left hand corner. Here you can set the default currency, then move on to the channel tab. Here, you're gonna select your country of residence. For me, the United States. And then the important thing here is the feature eligibility. So here, we're gonna to need to confirm a cell phone number. And the reason for that, without it, you can't upload videos over 15 minutes. You can't add a custom thumbnail. So if you want people to actually click on the thumbnail and watch your video, you need a custom thumbnail. And if you wanna do live streaming, all those you are required to have a verified phone number. So if we click on verify phone number, it's gonna take us through this process right here where it texts me to my cell phone. So you can see as soon as I verified that code, you see the intermediate features are now enabled. So what we're gonna to wanna to do now is click on save. Okay, so those are the main things within setting, but here are a few other things that I would also go in and change. So if we go down one tab further to upload defaults. So what I would recommend doing is changing the visibility to unlisted. So there's three different options here. So public, private, and unlisted. If it's saved as unlisted, no one can view it unless they have the link to the video. But the nice thing is here, it's not gonna be public where anyone can view it, but you can copy and paste the link and share it with somebody if you want them to review the video before you publish it. So I would just change that here. So all the videos are just set to this automatically and then click on save. Now let's customize your channel. So click on customization right here. Then let's start first with all the basic information. So here in our basic info, you can change the channel name by clicking right here, add a description for your channel. So this could show up in search results as well as someone goes to the about tab of your channel. Below that, you'll see you could add a language for the description. Here is your channel URL. So once you have a hundred subscribers, you've had the channel for over 30 days, you have, I believe, a profile picture and a banner. You can get a custom URL, which is essentially be the name that you choose for your channel. Then below that, you have your links. You can have up to five links. These are gonna show up on the channel page right in the bottom right-hand corner of your banner. First link, you actually get to use the text of. So a lot of times we'll use that for some type of lead magnet. So someone will click on the text and then go and sign up, giving us their email address in exchange for something for free. And then the other links usually we use for our website and social media. Once you add the links here, it's gonna give you this option for links on banner. So the first five, which is the maximum, you can adjust to however many links you have. Although if you just put three links, it's not gonna just make up two additional ones. And then down below that, add your contact information. So for example, I'm not gonna use my personal Gmail. We would use something like hello at thefigco.com. So any brands that wanna collaborate with us, any other channels or people that wanna get in touch with us have an email address where they can do that. So the basic info now, here's everything on this particular section. If we're good with that, click on publish. There we go, that has all been saved. If you're watching this video, I imagine you're just getting started on YouTube. If you want help actually getting everything set up, your channel, video ideas, recording, editing, and publishing videos, thumbnails, all of that, we're here to help. We have a YouTube course for beginners. 
with live sessions, answering all your questions to make sure you get started the right way, start growing your channel on YouTube. If you want our help, check out the link in the description below. Now let's go through the other two tabs. The first one I wanna talk about is the layout. So right now you're not gonna be able to do anything here because you don't have any videos, but I wanna run you through this. So when you do have content, you know what to do here. So the first two options are the video that's gonna be up at the top, right below your banner. These are for one, someone who hasn't subscribed, maybe the first time they're visiting your channel page, and then another option for a video for someone who's already a subscriber. This could be the same video, could be different ones, up to you what you wanna add here. And then you have feature sections. So there are a bunch of options for types of playlists. So it's already added your shorts and your uploads. You could add popular uploads. And then as you create playlists for your content, you could have, for example, if you talk about personal finance, like greater than enough, something for credit cards, something for budgeting, something for the best banks, for investing, for retirement, and create different playlists. The nice thing is with having a couple of different things here. So if I only have five or six videos and I have uploads, which are gonna be in order of the most recent, popular is gonna be in order of most views, and then some other ones where all of a sudden, if you scroll through the channel, it's gonna fill up a lot of real estate versus just having kind of one list and your banner and nothing else on the screen. This makes it looks like you have a bunch of content, even though you may only have a couple of videos when you get started. Now let's move on to your channel branding, an important part of the look and feel of your channel. The very first thing is your profile picture. So for us, for greater than enough, we just use an icon. Better yet would be a picture of you. If you're gonna use some type of logo or icon, I would recommend something that's very narrow. If you have a really long word, it's gonna be all over YouTube. That'll be like this big on someone's phone. So you want people to understand what it is that they're seeing. So picture of you or a small icon, like I showed you here. The next thing is the banner. This can be kind of complicated to create. Let me just show you what this looks like and you'll get an idea what I mean. So here is the banner. What it's gonna show you is what's viewable on all devices. So basically cell phones and tablets. You have something else that's viewable on desktop. Desktop has the links that we talk about. So we put something that shows people, hey, these links are down here, please click on them. And then something else that's viewable on a TV. But here's what essentially something like that could look like. And then we have the watermark. So something that confuses people here, this isn't something to look pretty. This is essentially another subscribe button helping you get more subscribers. So what do we do? We create something that looks like a subscribe button, not something that looks like our logo. So that's what we're gonna add right here. Generally for this, what we're gonna do is have it start near the beginning of the video, something like this in the first five seconds, essentially. If you're okay with the branding, then click on publish. So now your channel is set up, but I know this part on the branding is the most complicated. So if you want help creating your banner, getting the measurements right, check out the video above. And if you want to create a watermark helping you get more subscribers, check out the video below. Hope to see you in those and future videos. Bye.